Hello guys, good Tuesday morning. It's your girl Nene and I'm so excited to be live with you guys again. And today I'm going to be doing a live wig demonstration. So the first thing I'm gonna um, do is talk about this wig, you guys. This is a headband wig and this is the straight headband wig. Now I know it's looking curly because I recently washed it and we're gonna actually style this together and i'm gonna be putting some jumbo waves in this hair so you guys can see how it takes to heat and what products i use and how i use it so even though i'm gonna be waving it i'm gonna use three different hair tools of this wig that i'm wearing right now freshly washed i have no product in it this wig actually had um, some tangles in it because i didn't detangle it when i washed it i kind of just did like a quick wash <laughs> but um once i got it um together with this brush is really detangling it well so i'm going to push all this hair to the back because it is quite a bit of hair it's pretty long so i'm going to be using um, some hair tools so i'll go ahead and take out what i'm going to be using the first thing uh well it's not the first thing i'm going to use but the first thing i'm going to pull out is what i'm actually going to style the hair with and it is this jumbo waver i'm going to take the heat protectant and just give it um, some protection from the heat i'm about to put it on and um the heat protectant really doesn't take much all right the next product i'm going to use this is going to be our first time using this you guys it is and i'm so excited about it it is the color wow dream coat for straight hair y'all i am so excited about this it is um for straight hair and it's supposed to really help with protecting against humidity now we've used the curly one before on a human hair wig and it worked really well it looked really nice but we're gonna use the straight thing spray today and i'm so excited oh my gosh you guys i realized one thing we have to do before we do that i have to lay my edges i totally forgot because i was so excited to get the hair done so i'm gonna use this edge control really quickly you guys i'm not using my regular formula edge control i'm just using the smooth and shine I'm doing a lot of headbands wigs lately I'm just going to do my regular um, style. I have been doing a lot of headband wigs lately because they're so convenient and I know you guys like to see them. And I ran out. I was like, oh my gosh, I actually ran out like before Christmas. So I didn't even have it to wear on Christmas, but thank God I had another one. I've worn a lot of these wigs without my edges out as well. It looks fine to me. All right. So now we're going to take the Color Wow Sleek. No, Color Wild's <laughs> Dream Coat. Now we're going to take the Color Wild Dream Coat for straight hair. Okay. It's the soup. It's called Supernatural Spray. And we're going to spray it on the hair. And then we're going to apply the heat. And like I said, the hair is damp and long. I want to make sure I get it covered. And then once I use it once, then I'll be able to really kind of see like how much does it need. Because some things you use and you're like, okay, I did not need that much product. All right, here's what it's looking like. I think it's considerably used. Now let's go ahead and take this. I'm gonna put it on low. I'm gonna take the hair wax stick. This is in my Amazon storefront. So I'm just going to put that on there. I'm gonna take a soft bristle brush and brush the product. And you wanna brush it through or it could look a little bit um, clumpy up there. So I'm just gonna do that again. And you just wanna move it towards the way that you want the hair to go. So now we're gonna section it again because we're going to, honestly, with the hair, um, with the straightener brush, I don't leave it as many sections. 
it is a mini straightener brush though it's supposed to be like for travel so i will do probably four sections just i didn't tell you guys about the inches but the construction it does have three combs in the front one comb in the back and it does have adjustable straps like this and you're gonna put the hair inside place it where you want i want mine to be a, a start a little bit high so i'm gonna like move it up towards just watch your ears of course and we're gonna see how much time i've never done this on 10 i don't think so we're gonna see how much time uh, we need to keep this on the hair hmm I'm gonna say that was a good timing maybe or a little bit longer and I have like the hair you kind of want to get it like in the middle of the waver and you just move it down and now you want to make sure that you put the waver on the last like bump from your barrel so it like continues the hair wave all the way down especially if you have a longer hair that you're waving you guys can see how it's oh it's so pretty i love that i actually forgot to put one product uh, which i'll do on the next piece of hair i'm going to use the garnier fruit tea sleek and shine now i have this on 10 i think i'm going to bump it up to 15. all right here's the wave y'all oh my gosh it's so pretty i love this Oh, I didn't have it on 10. I think I had it on something else. I'm going to put it on 15. I'm going to just add a little bit of that. I should have put it in my other hand, but <laughs> I'm going to take down this section of hair. And just add the product. So this gives it like a nice shine. It also smells very good. And I cut it up a bit because I have a bigger section of hair. I don't know how long it's going to take to make sure I don't get that too close to my face. I might need to make my section a little smaller. Hmm. Okay. It is waving. I couldn't really tell and you can even brush the hair that is hanging out if you want it to be a little bit more uniform but I love using this thing you guys I think the waves are so pretty you see how much shinier they are since I used that sleek and shine I feel like that made a really big difference so I'm actually glad I forgot to do it on the first one so you can kind of see the difference I feel like that made a really big difference and I think it looks even prettier like look how gorgeous oh my gosh y'all look at that oh my goodness so this is the wave without the sleek and shine oh, you can definitely see the difference that is gorgeous oh my gosh I love it let's do the other side now this side um, I guess I will split it in half. Let's put this back here. I think the sleek and shine did a really big difference. In my opinion, I'm going to take it again. And you really just need like a little bit. It's better to rub it in. I just put it straight on there earlier. Then you want to brush the product through that paddle brush is really nice you guys I really needed a good brush and I really like it I'm going to unclamp take the waver and go ahead and start I feel like should I have done it the other way so I could really see This side looks so, oh my gosh, that is gorgeous. <clears throat> I'm excited to be able to do the entire wig. We got to get moving. Shout out to everybody still watching. Look how pretty you guys. Oh my gosh. Who knew waving hair? Oh my gosh. It looks so good. I seen this look 
but I didn't know this is how the girls were getting it done. I had a waiver back in the day, but um, it was more like a crimper. So I wasn't getting this wave look. I was getting more of crimps. I'm gonna take this again. But I see what y'all are doing now. And yeah, we're on it now. Cause this looks so good. I love how shiny and pretty the waves look. Like, imagine the entire wig done. Like, what? On? Oh. I think that looks so good. All right, queens, that is the end of this hair demo. I'm really happy with the way that the hair curled, and I was happy that I was able to test it with heat using this jumbo waver for you guys. The information to this wig is in the description as well. So if you guys need any information on that, it's there. And I appreciate you all look watching this video. I'm so happy to be back chatting with you guys. So, I definitely miss so you so, so much. So yeah, time. you guys, talk to me in the comments if you have any questions, and I will talk to you guys very, very soon. I love you all. Bye.